Hey guys, what's going on? It's Justin just coming to you with another video. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, today, uh, it's going to be a paramilitary 2 review. Um, I've got three PM2s. And I'm going to talk about all of them and show them all to you. So, um, I guess the first one is the S30V uh, with a DLC coated blade. Um, and it's got a fire starter on the lanyard. Um, I like this knife a lot. Um, you know, it's kind of like a minimalist design. You know, and that's what I, I guess I like about the paramilitary too. Is that, you know, as you can see, the liners are not very thick compared to like other manufacturers. But that's what I like about it, you know? It's a minimalist um, way to go about making a knife. How the stainless steel liners are nested into the G10 handles. I just think it's been done really nicely. I... The Paramilitary 2 is one of my favorite knives. Um, just because it's so lightweight. And it's like a minimalist way to do something. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. You know. Um, you know, I have zero tolerance knives and... I have nice knives, but I always go, I always carry a PM2 on me, a paramilitary 2. I always have at least one on me. Um, I've been carrying the Maximet lately, but like I said, this is Golden, Colorado, USA, Earth. And S30V. So, a DLC coated blade, diamond like carbon. I like the handles, the uh, Digicam handles, scales. I think that's a nice touch. Um,. I like this knife a lot. This is one of my favorite knives. And I really like the backspacer I put in on it. That was installed specifically by me. Um, this backspacer right here was installed by me. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I have to say about the paramilitary, too, is that it's a minimalist design. You know, if I were to show you a zero tolerance, it would look a lot thicker. Thicker steel, thicker everything. You know, so, but I just don't think it's necessary. You know, if they want to make thick knives that are overbuilt, then let them, because there's a market for that. But if you want to have a minimalist knife, this is the way to go. Definitely. Um, it's so light, you don't even know it's in your pocket. That's the thing about it, you know? 
is you don't even know it's in your pocket. It's so light. The stainless steel liners are uh, skeletonized. So they mill them to have holes in them. But, um... Yeah, this is the S30V. Which I guess is pretty good. I mean... We'll find out. I'm a plumber by trade. So I'm a Rhode Island master plumber. So, um... I'll definitely be using these knives. Um, so, why don't we take a look at another one? Let's put this one away. And I'll show you this one. This is Coyote Brown G10 and S35VN. So this is going to be a nice knife. Uh, last one I showed you was S30V. This is S35VN. So it's a different steel. So, uh... But this is my second paramilitary too. As you can see. No backspacer on this one. I haven't got it yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one. But you can see what it looks like without a backspacer. So. Golden, Colorado, USA, Earth. And... S thirty five VN. So I'm gonna get a backspacer. I haven't decided on what I'm gonna put in it. I was thinking about carbon fiber because I haven't done carbon fiber yet. Or I was thinking about doing titanium, bare titanium. Because the knife has a satin finish. So, a bare titanium would be nice on this knife. It would match. It would tie it all together, you know? Um, so, we'll do a video on that when I get it. So, yeah, this is the S35VN. And, um, right now I carry the Maximet. So why don't I show you the Maximet? Okay, here's the Maximet. Uh, the viewers on my channel, uh, have seen this knife. Uh, it's we did a backspacer install and they were able to see it um, it's a nice backspacer it's just flush I thought it's stone washed so I don't know if you guys can see but it's stone washed and it kind of matches the stone washing on the blade. So they're both stone washed. It is titanium. High grade titanium. It was like 25 bucks. No, it was 38. 38 dollars for this friggin titanium back backspacer. But this is a Golden Colorado, USA Earth, Maximet. Maximet is uh, supposed, to li supposed to be the strongest steel when it comes to pocket knives. So, 
they don't make anything stronger than Maximate. So, uh, I don't know too much about metallurgy, but if they want to give me Maximate, I'll take it. You know, um, it has a HRC rating and a Rockwell rating of 68 to 69, which is like five points higher than anything anybody else could come up with. You know, the the most Bowler M390 and CPM 20 CV and you know S110V all those knives are like 63 and this one's like 68 so it's up there quite a bit um, this is going to be my go to knife in the plumbing trade because uh, it, it's just a cardboard box shredder it's a cardboard shredder is what it is this thing is sick so uh, again this is the Maximate edition and um, they're hard to come by right now the pandemic really hit the internet hard uh, you gotta get what's on eBay and whatever they're selling at the time you know there's a small eBay following and they sell out quick. You got to get the knives on. I, I'm like an eBay connoisseur. And I watch what happens in all the knives that are popular. Like P PM2s. All the knives. All the popular knives I, I look for on eBay. And you got to buy what they're selling at that time. And you got to get it while it's good. Because they're selling out big time. And the dealer doesn't eat, I mean, the manufacturer doesn't even sell them. So, I was able to get in at the right time. I was able to get this Maxima edition, and it's, I would, I would be heartbroken if I didn't have this in my collection. Absolutely heartbroken. So, uh, Maxima, I mean, it's a little brittle. I, I, I'm not going to lie. You know. Uh, the tip on it. If I were to use this tip. To pry something with. That would. I would have a bad day. You know. Uh, you don't want to pry anything. With this knife. Uh, it's just. Brittle. It's real brittle. But it'll shred a cardboard to pieces. So, you just got to know its abilities, you know? You know, don't use it for prying. And take care of it. And it'll take care of you. So, I like this one a lot. This is my third paramilitary too. So, this video is coming to a conclusion. Uh, it's about 14 minutes long it's right now, so. But, uh, the Maximate is supposed to form a patina. And this one's not, for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's the oils in my skin. I think it's the oils in my skin protecting it but um yeah I uh I like the PM2 a lot it's got a special place in my heart And I like this backspacer. I think it's a nice touch. 
which just adds a little character to it, you know? Just a little character. So... Yeah, I don't have any specs for you on the PM2, um... I don't have any specs because specs don't interest me, to be honest with you. It's over three inches and it's illegal. That's the only thing that matters. You know? So. But, uh, yeah, that's my review on the PM2. I mean, I, I, I like the PM2 because it comes in a lot of different flavors. You can get it this way that way and there's a huge after aftermarket support for pm2s so um huge aftermarket support uh for these knives like as you can see i got the backspacers uh that was no big deal got that on ebay um and I make payments on my knives. You know, I do the Klarna bank, and they loan me money. I make a payment once a month, and they loan me money. So, and I got crappy credit. So, you know, I make payments on these knives. I went through a fit where I had to buy like 12 knives. So, I owe them like $1,500. I got like... ZT knives, I got like Rick Hinderer knives, I got like Spider Codes. So, you know, it's something I wanted to do, so I did it. But uh, I just wanted to tell you because, you know, you don't have to be rich to get into knives, knives, and, you know, you don't have to be rich. You can make payments on it and it's like no big deal you know so alright well I'm going to conclude this video that's my review of the PM2 as you can see I have three of them so I'm going to continue collecting them I'm going to continue buying them when I have extra money I've kind of bit, spent a lot of money on knives right now I think I'm going to chill out for a little bit but, um, you will see more spider codes to come on my channel. So, alright, well, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, bye.